Good evening. Happy holidays. Merry Christmas. Happy winter to you and your family. I'm Professor Presley. I've been a Bronco just about as long as I can remember. My grandmother took me down to shake John Elway's hand at the car dealership. Jake Plummer threw me this ball in a Pandora. I was there for the Kyle Orton neckbeard incident. I was there the day the longest field goal was ever lofted into the air. I was there when Bubby Brister took over. I've stood on the field at Mile High and I saw a man throw a ball by the name of Jay Cutler. And that thing I'd never, I mean, I was, it whistled. It was, it was, uh, yeah. I saw Tebow hike the ball and run it in for a touchdown. And it was nothing less than a spiritual. That's what I want to address today. You see, there seems to be this unaware controversy about the state of football at this time. Some accepting and embracing, and others unwilling to see the changes. I've also been a music fan just about as long as I've been a Bronco fan. And everyone knows I love me some Taylor Swift. Quite a bit. I wish she and her family, her new love, I wish them all the best. It's a fun romance that's playing out before the world. I don't know how other team families work. I could probably make some guesses on Raiders. But Broncos, well, at the end of the day, everybody goes home safe to shake hands. It was a good game. Doesn't mean that I in any way could root for or like in any way a team like the racistly named Kansas City Chiefs and Trader Red outfits. But it's not for me to like the team. Let me see. Oh, Kansas City Chiefs, they're they're in the in the AFC West with the Denver Broncos, with the whining crying Chargers, and the team that's a lot like Las Vegas. Dirty and corrupt, the Raiders. So the Raiders, the Kansas City Chiefs, the Chargers, and the almighty Broncos make up the AFC West division. So no, I can never, ever, ever, ever root for Travis Kelsey. Now, it's nothing against the team or or, the, or anything like that. Yeah, I, I want that. I, I would like them to win. Never against the Broncos, of course. You see, I don't hate the Kansas City Chiefs. I don't even buy into the rumors of every time they win, it's because of cheating or something. I'm a Bronco. We go out there and we play. We do our best. And if we win, we celebrate. And if we lose, we regroup. We ask each other what went wrong out there. And losing's okay as long as no one gets hurt. Unless you're a Bronco, of course. You, got to, you always gotta win. <laughs> it is okay to enjoy this new frenzy of football where people of ages, sexes, and genders, and different types are coming to watch this game that we love so dear. So be kind to the other team. Even if they are like the racistly named Kansas City Chiefs. So yeah, I think it's pretty well established that I'm a Bronco. But do you think that's going to keep me from enjoying some of these new Cool Ranch Taylor Swift's boyfriend Doritos? Hell no. They taste just as good. Look at that. It's like reaching down into a guy's head eating the crunchy insides of his skull. Believe I've said enough. Be kind to one another out there. Have fun at those football games and enjoy this frenzy of Taylor Swift while we have her.
all your hate, anger, fear, emotions, all those things, take it onto the field. And battle it out, yard per yard. Thank you for joining me. And go Broncos. There's a lot. There's a lot. Of, there's a lot of Cool Ranch on that one. If you get the Cool Ranch Doritos, and there's too much dust on it. Shake it off. Uh, shake it off. Uh. <laughs>